Welcome back. We're here with Raven and Lynn and Jason of Hope Harvest Farm. And guess what? This is an amazing Llama Llama segment. <laughs> so Lynn, let me ask you, can you tell us a little bit about the camps? Yeah, so at Harvest Hope Farm, we have several different camps for kids. Um, currently, we have our farm camp going on, which is for six to 13 year olds. We have our last week of it this year, but that's a summer camp. They come out one night a week. They raise produce for families in need, and then they learn how to work with all the different farm animals and get to interact with Raven. And we have another llama named Abu. Um, and then we also have our Llama Llama camp for preschoolers. Um, we had four sessions of that this summer where we bring out three to five year olds and they learn social emotional development using the llamas, using the Llama Llama books like Llama Llama and the Bully Goat. And kind of our theory there is in Llama Llama and the Bully Goat, um, all these different animals can get along and they're all different and unique and we have lots of different animals together in the pasture so if all our animals can get along we want to teach those kids that humans should all be able to get along no matter their differences and their uniquenesses i love that i love that so jason i know there's a sheep medical science research can you tell me a little bit more about that Sure, yes. This sheep medical research is uh, working with uh, Huntington's disease, and uh, Raven wants to, Raven wants to at, chime in too, but uh, you know, who can best explain the Huntington's disease in sheep research is actually Lynn, so I'm going to turn it back over to her. Perfect, perfect. So we work with glycoscience research out of Brookings, South Dakota, and some of our sheep are able to carry a glyco sugar that people with Huntington's disease lack. Wow. So we are helping to breed those lambs to go back to South Dakota to be used in medical science research for people with Huntington's disease. Um, my mom and sister both died from Huntington's and we're both, we're all, we're very connected with the Huntington's community. So um, we wanted to be able to give back and help out in any way we can. So we do that by breeding lambs for them. That's awesome. I love this and I love Lando Lambda camps. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what is the educational portion and the fundraiser that's a part of this? The educational piece of it is working with kids and teaching them about sustainability and that's probably one of the most coolest things is that kids get to get their hands dirty, get to sow seeds and get to reap that harvest and then give it away and get to help nurture those seeds throughout the growth and harvest time frame. So that's what's really exciting about uh, teaching kids about sustainability. Awesome. So how can I help with the fundraiser? So we have our fundraiser coming up on September 17th. It's at the farm. It's from 5 to 8 p.m. Um, open house format. People can come for the whole time or come for an hour. Um, we are having a free will donation meal, silent auction, and a barn dance this year. We're going to have a dollar dance with the llamas, so you could come and dance with the llama. Um, we have kids activities, so it's a family event for everyone, and we just really hope people will come out and join us and support our mission at Harvest Hope Farm. I love it. So where are you guys centrally located? So we are just north of Moorhead. Um, we are off of County Road 26, which I call the Harwood Road. So it's not far out of town, 10 minutes from North Fargo. Yeah. Awesome. And Jason, what do you have to say to the kids that want to join the camps? Well, uh, register early because sessions fill up fast and it's a great time being out on the farm. Awesome. Guys, this is such an amazing feat. Raven, thank you so much. <laughs> Stick tuned, guys. We'll be right back with more North Dakota Today right here.